Sure thing, Freddy. They're wonderful. Gotta go, Sam. <laughs> Bye, Freddy. Whoa! Hi, Snappy Turtle. Hi, Freddy. Like you need some cheering up. For me? Thanks, Freddy. Have a nice day. Bye. Hi, Grandma Grouper. Here's a flower for you. Thank you, Freddy. What's wrong, Grandma Grouper? Someone took my treasure chest. Grandma! Treasure chest that holds all the kelp seeds. Yes, Freddy. Look at the garden. It's dying. <gasps> Until we find my treasure chest, we have no food. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. Oh, thank you, Freddy. Here's my last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich for your journey. Good luck, Freddy. Don't worry, Grandma Grouper. I'll find your kelp seed. <laughs> Hello, Freddy. I'm so worried about the kelp seeds. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. Good luck, Freddy. Don't worry, Grandma Grouper. Freddy? We found the purple sea urchin! I wish I could get some sleep, Freddy. But this shell, it glows all day. It glows all night. I wish I could trade it for a shell that doesn't glow. It's Grandma's last peanut butter and jellyfish there. I have one purple gear to Hello. We found another purple sea urchin! Freddy and Luther. Well, 
Welcome to my castle. Do you think you'd wish to be a royal fish? To be a real good king or queen, you should be fair and never mean. urchin for saving my Gabby. Thanks, Mrs. Halibut. The beach is up there. Fiddler Crab, what's wrong? I would gladly give you my fishing pole if you could please get me out of this cage. Yep, 
three buckets of jellyfish. I'll toss the jellyfish to the hungry animals and you can keep track, Luther. On your mark! Get set! It's feeding time! <laughs> You fed that one, Freddy! Too bad, Freddy. You good job, Freddy. How did I do, Luther? That was fun, Freddy. It sure was, but we'd better continue our search for Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds. Fiddler Crab, what's wrong? Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my How did I get in this cage? I must get out of this cage Please help me get out And I'll give you my fishing pole the way to the old whale bones. What a pretty pearl! Let's go get it! But Freddy, how are we gonna get through the net to get the pearl? Hi, Ray! <laughs> you can't get through the shrimp net unless you got the super duper duka booka poly gizmo. But you can't get the super duper duka booka poly gizmo Unless you give me a clock. Where are we gonna get a clock? Look in the junkyard. It's a key. I wonder what it will unlock. This key should get you out of the cage, Fiddler Crab. Thanks for unlocking the cage! Here, you can have my fishing pole! Let's go find Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds, Luther! Your shell is too broad. Herman, I brought you a new shell that doesn't glow. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy! It's wonderful! Just a second! Here, Freddy. Maybe you can use this glowing shell. Thank you, Herman. Good night. Luther, we should hurry up and find the kelp treasure. Finally, Herman is getting some sleep. This is the way to the old whale bones.
this super duper duka booka poly gizmo can open the net. No thanks. It's Grandma's last peanut butter. It's a glowing shell. The old whale bones are over here. Ain't here, boss. Maybe somebody else found the voice. <laughs> Maybe somebody else found it first. Of course, someone else found it first, you spongehead. Come on, we gotta find that bottle. Oh, we're shark bait. But, boss, do we are sharks. Mr. Starfish, your math teacher for today. Welcome to class. How hard do you want the questions to be? Easy, medium, hard, very hard, or advanced? Advanced. Advanced it is. What is the sum of 94 and 2? 96. That's correct. We've answered one question right. Now let's try another. How much is 98 minus 81? 17. You're right. Now let's try another. What is the sum of 51 and 17? You're right! We've gotten three questions right! Here's another equation. How much is 64 plus 32? 96! Very good! Now let's try another. What is 60 minus 14? Very good. Let's do another problem. How Hey, Papa. Look, junk your dogfish. Don't want to wake him up. I guess we can't get past him. Dogfish don't eat peanut butter.
butter and jellyfish sandwiches. Nice doggy, here's a bone for you. Looks like the coast is clear. Now we should be able to find a cloth for Ray. Hey, a clock! <laughs> now we can trade Ray for his super duper duka buka poly gizmo. Thanks for the clock. You're welcome, Ray. Now you get the super duper duka booga poly gizmo. Thank you for the super duper duka booga poly gizmo. Nice doing business with you. I don't see how this thing is gonna get us through the net. <coughs> oh, that's how. Follow the pearl. Try to find the pearl. You're right. Hooray! Take this pearl as your prize. But only one pearl per customer. Thanks. Follow the pearl! Try to find the pearl! You're right! Hooray! Before we can get through, the gate's still not open enough for us to get through. The gate's almost open. Alright! Now the gate's open! Look! The bottle! The note says, go 
to the deep canyon. We found another clue to Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. Gee, boss, the kelp treasure ain't here. I don't know why you hid all those bottles. I put clues in the bottles so I could find my way back to where I hid the kelp treasure. Well, if you can't find that treasure chest, you're gonna have to answer to the squid father. Please, boss, not the squid father. I'll clam up, spongehead. There are all kinds of surprises. Welcome girls, boys, and fish of all ages to the greatest show under the sea. We've got some great acts here today, sure to make your gills quiver with delight. So, put your fins together for our first fantastic performance!
So now you got to see the squid father. Oh, please, boss. Not the squid father. The squid father. The junkyard is this way. Another bottle, Luther. Right oh, Freddy.
I hope we find Grandma Grouper's cup treasure soon. bottle if you would give me a beautiful pearl. Ooh! What a lovely pearl, Freddy and Luther. Now you may have my beautiful bottle. Thank you, King Crab. This bottle will help us find the kelp treasure. I do hope you'll find Grandma Grouper's treasure. I put all my clues in bottles so I could find my way back to the treasure. I thought I put the first bottle at the Nexus. But, but, Squid Father. Or was the first bottle at the cave? Come on, Spongehead. Think. The Squid Father trusted us to hide the stolen kelp treasure for him. <laughs> but, 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 Squid Father. Oh no, he's spewing ink. <laughs> I remember where the treasure is. <laughs> Come on, Spongehead. <laughs> That old shipwreck has held so many treasures over so many years. We're looking for Grandma Grouper's treasure. Good luck, mates. Hey, Freddy, what do you think is behind that window? Grouper's cup treasure is for everyone to share. And besides, the window is closed and it's much too heavy to open. If we can find a handle for the crank, we can crank open the window and swim inside. Let's go find a crank handle. I wonder if this crank can help us open the window. That crutch might come in handy. Arg! 
ya little ones. I'm Phineas McFinn, the finest sailor on the seven seas. Arg! Phineas doesn't need a crutch. It's a glowing shell. It's Grandma's last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. Arg! There's just one word that says it all. Arg! Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg! Arg to port. Arg to starboard. Arg from stem to stern. Arg! Arg, yes, Wabby! Arg! And a yo ho ho hum hum, my chum. Arg! What's that you say? Arg! I can't hear ya. Arg! One more time. Arg! Very good. Excellent. In fact, Arg! Arg! The handle is broken. Arg! If you could find old Phineas another musical instrument, I would gladly trade you this useless crank handle. Matey. Now I don't need this old mandolin. Would you like it? Yes, please. Thanks. instrument for you? Great! Here, take this crank handle. Thanks, Phineas. Arg! There's just one word that says it all. Arg! Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg! Arg to port. Arg to starboard. Arg from stem to stern. Arg! Arg, yes, Wabby! Arg! And a yo ho ho hum hum, my chum. What's that you say? Arg! I can't hear ya! Arg! One more time! Arg! Very good! Excellent! In fact... Arg! Uh-oh. Told you 
we find the treasure, boss? Okay, you two. Hand over the treasure. No. Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are for everyone to share. But we gotta take the treasure to the squid father so we can grow some kelp. If we share the seeds, we can all grow kelp. Share the kelp seeds? Gee, boss. The kelp seeds are for everyone. Wait, I got an idea. We can share the kelp seeds. <laughs> Great idea, boss. Yes! Yay! <laughs> Let's go tell the squid father we're all going to share.
Freddy. I just had to find my Codfish Commando action figure for show and tell. That's okay, Luther. But we better get going before we're late for school. I'm excited about show and tell, Freddy. you need for school? Of course I did, Luther. In fact, I'm ready for a great day. And I hope you are too. I've had my breakfast. I've got my books. Comb my bin. Check out my books. Ready for lunch. say the school is haunted by a ghost and that the ghost is stealing their toy. I saw the ghost, Mrs. Croker. It stupefied me with fear and then it stole my toy. Oh. Ah! Hey, that's my toy. Oh. It couldn't have been real. There's no such thing as ghosts. Luther and I will find that so-called ghost and get back all the toys. Good luck, Freddy. <laughs> that ghost scared me out of ten years' growth. And I'm not even done yet. See? There's a ghost in the school, the puppies are scared The ghost showed up, we weren't prepared If it doesn't leave, the school is done Cause swimming with a ghost is just no fun never know when a pair of plastic coated safety scissors will come in handy. Look, it's part of the ghost. Oops. 
Doctor, I don't think that ghosts wear sheep. Whoever is scaring the guppies is just wearing a ghost costume. Hmm. I've got it. Let's build a trap to catch that phony. See, we already have almost everything we need. Huh? This is a list of all the things we need to build our trap. We'll just need to get a trident, a diver's helmet, a mock stock mibble box whopper bopper, a wheel for the baby buggy, and a cork for our trap to be complete. Good thing we didn't pass up that purple sea urchin. It might come in handy. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> 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 It's another purple sea urchin. Hey! We can use this cork to build our trap! Whoa! You're filling the compartment with air! Whew. Just pulling out the cork is definitely not going to work. We found a wrench! Any time now. by the name of Ed Salmon. Yeah, we just sit around in our rockers and play backgammon. The game's real good and the company's fine. Even though he cheats most of the time. Hi, Mr. Triple Pin. Hey, kids. What kind of fish live in Hollywood? Beats me. Starfish. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We need to find to trap the goat. loops around that ghost. probably heard that I am now a collector of fine new and used trophies. And I'm uh, trading one other specialty item. A Mockstock Nibblebock Whopper Bopper. A very hot item, I might add. Luther! That's one of the things we need to pay the trap. How much does a Mockstock Nibblebock Whopper Bopper go for? This is way under my cost, but... Since you're such swell-looking kids, I'll let you have it for one slightly used trophy. I think we could probably find a used trophy. An octopus bought a super duper duka booka poly gizmo. That was not such a smart thing, don't you know? There's something about the theater that just makes my friends tingle with excitement. Hmm. 
命。You gotta have them. Mmm, mmm, worm doodle. Squishy, squashy worm doodle in all your favorite flavors. Original, chocolate, sea cucumber, lemon, orange, red, and new fat free. Grab them, cause you gotta have them. Just point to a pulley. I've got a whole store of them. Oh, hey, Barnacle Bob, tell us about that pulley. The Flying Dutchman's captain. Found true love, you see, and had no need to sail no more, so he sold me this here pulley. There's a neat story behind that pulley. It's from the schooner Hesperus that sailed the wintry sea. The skipper had taken his daughter along and she stole this here pulley to me. That looks like an interesting pulley. This pulley come down to the sea, my friends, to the lonely sea from the sky, from the port bow of a tall ship that sailed from Paraguay.
This plaque says King Crab donated his pearls to build this Hall of Fame. Sergi Sturgeon won four gold medals in the all-ocean powerlifting competition. Tina Tuna held her breath above water for 13 minutes. That's the trophy I won for the deep sea spelling bee. I was going to pick it up after school today. Darn! The trophy case is lost. I wonder who we could get the combination from. Hey, I think this fell off the back of the lock. It says to get the combination to this lock, show this card to Mr. Triplefin. So, if we show this card to Mr. Triplefin, he'll give us the combination. Luther, you're a genius. I know. It's Mr. Triple Finn's business card. It's we need to give this bit. The sea urchin over here, Luther. This diving helmet will be great for our trap. <laughs> hey, Luther, how about giving me a hand? I really appreciate the great job you're doing. No, Luther. This helmet is snagged on the kelp. Help me break it loose. Oops. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Whew! How are we gonna get the helmet for our trap? I'm sure there's a way. We just have to think of it. It's a wrench. Here, Luther. Snip ahoy, Captain! It's loose! We need to get four more things to make our trap. <laughs> Look, it's a purple sea urchin, Luther. Toast and the frying pan never really gets that hot. I can't keep the lid on my cooking pot. business card. Ahoy, Captain Schnitzel! How's the submarine? Going nowhere fast, <laughs> but that's okay. It gives me time to sing my deed. <laughs> Sailors are known to be mean, coarse, and surly, but we're always polite when we're out with our girly. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. 
oil to be exact. So how do you like it? I call it the wet look. Just toss the oil over here. Ugh. Maybe this will work. I don't think that helped at all. That wheel will be perfect for a trap. Try this, Luther. Whoa! We did it! We need three more things to make our ghost trap. accidentally dematerialized the judges. My best is on my head, sure improve my view. They make it quite clear that I'm a CU. I think it's quite obviously clear to see. My glasses help improve my ocularity. Uh. I always wondered how it'd feel to get your head caught in a pipe, and now I know, it feels bad. That pipe looks like it's stuck on Tucker Journal. A drop of oil might do the trick. I hope he gets a headlight. Be sure to have one now. Sure I do. It was just stuck in my shell. Well, are we glad you're okay? Thanks to you kids. It's a list that shows what we need to build our trap. We'll uh. <laughs> that statue is holding the trident. Just what we need for our trap. Hey, this statue is really attached to that trident, isn't it? It's not that, Luther. The trident is being blocked by the ceiling.
try them! Two more things and we'll have everything we need to build our ghost trap. What's this? Hey, you giving me the business? Your business card, sir. Well, so it is. <laughs> you boys will be wanting the accommodation to the trophy case. Excuse me, sir, but I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. Hey, that's a coincidence. So's Mrs. Triplefin. Thanks for the combination, Mr. Triplefin. was when I won this trophy. Gee, it looks expensive. Looks like it's made out of gold. No, Luther. The trophy isn't gold. Only the memories that go along with it. You won't believe this, but I just happen to have a slightly used trophy. Hmm, nice quality. Kid, you just made the deal of the century. Hey, Freddy. Sorry you had to give up your spelling bee trophy. I know how much that trophy meant to you. It's okay, Luther. I remember how special it was to win it, and that's what really matters. There's only one more thing we need to build our trap. Yes, Gwenfather, we know you never had a toy in your whole life, but 
But we can't get you any until the kids are out of the classroom. Well, the kids haven't left yet because of that Freddy fish. Yes, Squid Father. No more excuses. We'll do what we gotta do. Uh, boss, uh, just what do we gotta do, huh? We gotta get rid of those kids! Father doesn't need the toys as much as the coffee. Here, give this to the squid father. He should have at least one toy. Come on, Luther. Let's take these toys back to the guppy. Look what we you found. found the guppy toys. Hip, hip, hooray! We solved the mystery, Mrs. Croker. There wasn't really a ghost haunting the school. It was just those sharks pretending to be a ghost. Congratulations! You saved the school! You're 
fish, it's the way to be. We love to swim and brush about, but if you're a fish, then scoop them Reminds us of the school we love I love to eat stuff to explore Yesterday we went to the shore We swam close to see the beach But things on dry land were just out of reach We're all here to do our best When Mrs. Croker Study hard so I can say Congratulations all, you got an A Are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. <laughs> Pelican Sam Airlines, we never leave you up in the air. There will be visitors from around the world at the Founders Day Festival. That foreign language phrase book could really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one orange sea urchin, that is. to grow up to be just like you. I think you're fine just the way you are. Again. Not without something to keep that clam from snapping shut. Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Great job! I knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull off? Oh, Luther.
I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. It's a drain plug. It's a drain plug. What we need is a surefire way to keep that clam thing off. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blanny? Uncle Blanny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders' Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Petters the Tourist. Can't your dog fish sniff out the thief? Old soggy sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blanny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. I don't think I ever appreciated how good it is to breathe the water of freedom. We'll prove that you're innocent and get you out of there as quick as we can, Uncle. Soggy, what do we do when we find the bad guy? <laughs> That's my plan too. Luther. Our founder is shown holding his most precious gift to our community, the great conch containing the three golden pipes. Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre men sing, they are better than new. Torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Pisha! With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Uh-oh, I broke it. 
No, you didn't, Luther. We just need to find a way to make the handle stay on. I don't think that will do anything. <laughs> Look, a purple sea urchin. Freddy, how come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea, where everything is pink and polka dotted. You just made that up, didn't you? Uh-huh. Look, Freddy, there's something behind that waterfall. Wait! Knock the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get through that waterfall. <laughs> hey, Luther! Do you see what I see? By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. You have a clue who stole the great conch shell? Prince Robert Bonchivin killed Barker. to a needlefish with a long pointy nose, a mustache, and a couple of hairs on his head. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. Look, Freddy, it's a snaboopy pop. No, it's not. It's a purple sea urchin. I knew that. I just like to say snaboopy pop. Snaboopy pop. Snaboopy pop. Snaboopy pop. Hey, get out 
the bullies club. This is a bullies club. No whims allowed. Boy, this guy's got a big time bad attitude. <laughs> a needle fetch with a long, pointy nose, a mustache, and a couple of hairs on his head. There must be a safe way to get those pliers. Did you lose your wallet? No, probably no. Told you, Freddy. It doesn't belong to anyone. We can keep it. I don't think so, Luther. We will find the owner. Is this your wallet? No, but I'll take it anyway. No, you won't. Luther and I will only give it to its rightful owner. wallet. Well, I sure appreciate you asking, but I don't even own a wallet. That's okay. Now we own one. Luther, we will find the wallet's owner and give it back to them. That's the wallet of Pierre in your film? Yes, sir. Ah, my beautiful one-of-a-kind wallet. Here's something from the great Pierre just for you. Just one orange urchin? Luther, don't be greedy. Thank you, Pierre. How 
would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an orange sea urchin will do. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. It's a foreign language phrase book. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. The flag that's selected in the foreign language phrase book matches the flag on this bag. May we please have the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? So, the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feathers so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Thank you, Mr. Feather, sir. It's a Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper. Carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Hurry, <laughs> hurry, right, guppies and guards. Ladies and germs step right up to Gil Barker's world famous floating fun. Just four purple sea urchins get you inside. That's right, if you've got four purple sea urchins and you can hit the broadside of a barge, you can be a big winner! Hey, I hit the broadside of a barge just the other day! Yes, but you ran into it head first! And boy, did that ever hurt! Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine! I've heard about these! Look, Freddy! I found a purple sea urchin! Toss it over here, and I'll hang on to it for later. Good work, Luther! Hairiness <laughs> waits just around the corner. Whoops! They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Look, it's one of the golden pipes. You're right. But how can we get it out of that glass case? <laughs> <laughs> 
Looks like a tough case to crack, if you ask me. Oh, Luther. The golden pipe can't move that far backwards. Those purple sponges move the golden pipe farther away from us. It looks like the orange sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. Those blue sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. All right! Great! That's the idea! We can get the golden pipe past that rubber. Hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? Ah, the sweet smell of success. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Zoggy to pick up the scent. We can record nine songs. We'll need to record a song before we can listen to it. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee. I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. Here's a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. 
Gee, what's the matter? It's this thing stuck on my tooth. Only 1% of Lady Narwhals grow a tooth, you know. But now it's ruined, defaced by this metal nut. How'd that nut get stuck on there? More to the point, how will I ever get it off? Come on, Luther, let's lend a fin. Oh dear, my beautiful tooth. Don't worry, we'll find a way to remove that nut. It's a shim sham jiminy jam clapper gapper. It's a plastic shovel. It's a drain plug. This way to last year's ride, the legendary terrific tumble tubes. When I want to go down to the bottom of the sea, I go swim around at the bottom of the sea. Won't you come join me? Oh, at the bottom of the sea. Down here. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Don't go swimming too close to my door Down in the deep blue sea I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse Than his bark will ever be Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor Unless you wanna mess with me Well I down deep into the murky sea well, that's where you run into me. I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool. Come take a swim in the blue. I'll make you feel so cool. Oh, oh. It's a drain plug. It's a plastic shovel. The Shim Shim Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper doesn't have enough hands to move the kelp out of that doorway. Mm -hmm. These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. Find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway.
Gee, that fish looks like it's really hungry for those ca It's a plastic shell. It's a shim sham jiminy gem. It's a drain plug. A shim sham jiminy jam clapper gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Okay, Luther. I'm gonna need your help. Right o, Freddy. Yikes! I got a golden pipe. I don't care what anyone else says. You're a good fish. All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff out the thief. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find that comp show so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. Dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. Push the log into the waterfall. I'll show that waterfall who's boss. We already know that the waterfall is the boss. The only way we're getting to the other side is if we find a way to block the water while we swim through. the log moving, we'll be home free! Ah! Just a little further and we'll have this log in position. Ah! I just had a brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. <laughs> Hi folks and welcome to the world famous Luau Show where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic and it's all 100% 
aquatic. So now, ladies, gentle fish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. Do you know how to become a performer in Rosie Pearl's world-famous luau show? No, Rosie. How? Practice, practice, practice. Give it up, folks. Let's hear some applause. Any news on who the thief is? No, but we're still looking for clues.
think that will do anything. It's a drain plug. Uncle... How's your vacation going? No business like show business there is. The book may not be so useful for foreign phrases, but it sure is good for a laugh. Hmm. It's a drain plug. Uncle Blenny is depending on us to find one more golden pipe. Maybe Nadine the Narwhal stole the great conch shell. That prickly plant will make it hard to get those pliers. There has to be a way to protect ourselves so we can get those pliers. It's a drain plug. This here is the bully's club. It's a drain plug. It's a drain plug. It's a drain plug. <laughs> It's a drain plug. <laughs> we can change the kind of... It's a drain plug. What do you know about who stole the great conch shell? The last person I saw near it was Horst Fetters. Maybe he's the one who took it. <laughs> I hope that fish only eats kelp. But you can go. A work glove, Freddy. The label says it's extra padded for insulation and safety. This old glove might just come in handy. Open that too. I think this makes you go through the tubes twice. Yippee! Ah! <laughs> Fun time!
heavy-duty glove can protect me from that prickly plant. All set. Stand back, citizen. This is a job for Mighty Fish. Luther, you got the pliers, but are you okay? Well, but next time, I'm using a stunt double. I wish I could get this metal nut off my tooth. Just hold still, Nadine. We'll have that nut off in two shakes of a guppy's tail. <laughs> oh, Rapture. I'm normal again. This might come in handy, but don't worry, Luther. You're still my favorite nut. Gee, thanks, Freddy. I think... The Founders Day Festival is the social event of the season. I am so looking forward to it. We can use this nut to hold the handle on. and pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy. Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. and put the jewel back, and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. <laughs> I'll find a way to get the gem and have you out of there in no time, Luther. Good, because there are some pretty fishy things down here. Besides me, that is. No point in just hanging around and staring at the closed door. I'd better get moving and find a way to free Luther. I'll second that. I wonder where I can find the key that fits this keyhole. shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Uh, 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 
This red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. Break off this green crystal, it might come in handy. It's a chisel! I should hold on to this, it might come in handy. Loosen that crystal. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. That might come in very handy. Hey, the crystal grew back. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. Come in handy. Pshaw! 
if Pierre was in charge, this would never have happened. And now, for the first time ever, the show won't go on. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Please kill me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found a claw-shaped boxing glove, which means the thief is... The evidence shows that the thief is none other than... Claw! You're the thief! Oh, that could have been anybody's claw-shaped boxing glove in that bag! You ain't got nothing on me! Ouch! Oh, no? <laughs> okay, okay! So maybe you do have something on me? I confess! The guys at the police club made me do it! They're even bigger bullies than I am! Claw, you can't blame someone else for the things that you do wrong! You should know that no matter what anyone else says, it's just plain wrong to steal! I've been... a selfish shellfish! I'm sorry! Here's the great conch! Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you! That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> and old Charlie. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, old grand, exalted keeper of the conch. <laughs> Claw was convicted of violating Penal Code 119 for having a really bad attitude. As punishment, he was sentenced to take remedial classes in ballet for bullies, and has to wear a tutu and little pink dance slippers to school for a whole year. Case closed.
Ma'am? Have. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go! On at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Problem there. See, my prize winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town, and I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther and we're helping my cousin Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure! What's that big thing? Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. What are these plans? 
No, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. No, oh, they're very popular. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. It says, just buckle. Is that what I think it is? It thinks. Oh! Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. I'm Perry. Some rustlers took my cousin Togfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers? Well, I'll be stuffed in a jar full of dirt and swung round and round. at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Six, two, zero. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. My pal Luther. Well, hello. Hey, Fingered Phil. Dr. Pianoology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway.
Gale Rider. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? Youngsters, I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? One peppermint soda, please. Coming right up. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. One pumpkin soda, please. You bet. Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Come on. Let's check out that hatch. Okay. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Six, two, zero. Construction. Back short. Sure you could. You know, 
you two remind me of two of my own 17 children. Really? What are their names? Four and eleven. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Road, road close. Cousin Calico, we found a clue. A clue? Well, I'll be. What is it? It's a note that says to meet at the Rusty Rustler. The Rusty Rustler? That's the old shipwreck behind the soda loom. Been a rustler hideout for generations. I wonder why I didn't think of that. You've had a lot on your mind. You reckon they're holed up there now? There's only one way to find out. Hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Six two zero. If we punch in the combination right, the lock will open. One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two. <laughs> we did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Ah, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still call it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. <laughs> I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a blue ten-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. 
This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bow tie like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. Whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. These plans say they need a piece of wood seven feet by seven feet. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Hera Slim special super stew. My own recipe. <sighs> oh, not quite ready. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Something. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! I think that did something. Catfish is sick in the morning. I think I heard something. Get me off here! Don't worry, we'll get 
what you offer there. I'd be much obliged. You. I think that did something. Watch this, Freddy! I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. Um... Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your debt. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some wrestlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking afoot somewhere. I can smell it! But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. <laughs> wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No. You, like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. Looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Hmm. Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. you don't get splinters. Hey, Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. It says free wood. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. 
find it, you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> well, hi, kids. Hello. Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheelnut Company. Third largest distributor of bubblegum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Those are pickle fit locking wheel nuts, the finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price, just three purple sea urchins per nut. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes! Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous Fickle Fit Wheel Nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry! I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? 
What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Bigger than, well, just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. We did it. It's fixed. And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? At last. Hello, Mr. Tippett? Go away. I'm busy. What's there to do inside a mailbox? I'm hermiting. Oh. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. Are you ready to start? <laughs> I doubt it, but I can fit a lot of folks in my mouth. That's how come I'm the cabaret. Cabaret? We put on plays and shows and things right inside my mouth. In your mouth? That sounds interesting. Could we take a look? Well, the cabaret's closed right now, but sure, take a look. Neat! Hey, look! It's a ten-gallon hat! Oh, boy! Oh. It's stuck in there pretty good! Yeah! I wouldn't want to hurt her. We need some dental floss or something like that. Come on, Luther! Let's try this! <laughs> people see out of these things? Oh, wait, there's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? What 
about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. We've got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. It says, it says, cabaret. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. I wonder if there's some way we could move the sail out of the way without being able to reach it. That's part of my disguise. That's not gonna do me any good. That's not gonna do me any good. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. That's not gonna do me any good. That's not gonna do me any good. Part of my disguise. I don't think I need that right now. That's part of my disguise. I don't think I need that right now. We made it. I knew we could do it. Purple sea urchin! We're rich! It's a crank handle. Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What was it? I can't remember. Well, we'll take it with us. Luther, why is the room spinning? 
It's not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though. Really? Huh? 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 Bless you! Wow! It's cayenne. Cayenne? Um, cayenne is kind of hot. It feels like my tongue's on fire! Is it? No, it looks okay. Whew. Look at this cute spice container. This could come in handy. Wonder what we could use to get those screws out. That's got it. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Would you like a piece of gum? No thanks! I can't chew gum! It gives me hives! That's too bad! It's an empty spice cont- I don't think I need-
Let us buy. Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. Oh. Have some more. That's not going to do me any good. You eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here, this is for the belt buckle. Okay, stand back! Yikes! 
my best work. All that's missing is a belt. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. Goby, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. Might be that the hogfish done up and rustled themselves too. Can't ever tell with hogfish. was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. than it looks. Here, would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Huh? Well, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Thank you so much! Now, I can play the blues again. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah, but I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Be a little 
little thing for you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! will make me look even more like a rustler. There, this ought to fool him. Now, let's rescue those hogfish. Yeah. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler! Ahem, howdy! I reckon Mr. Big Must has sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in! He'll be glad to see you! Thank you! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew! These are heavy! There! That does it. are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know. But I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. There! What are we gonna do with that? You'll see. This 
should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, ready. Fire away. Let go! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, boy? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, mm. It was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, it was. I thought it would be good for the hot fish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no, no. I just, um... So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <laughs> <gasps> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just Buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see. Since folks don't need very many buckles around here, I thought I might have better luck as a hawkfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play.
Here we are! Let's tell Grandma Grouper where we're going today. Well, hello there, Freddy and Luther. Hi, Grandma! Hi, Grandma Grouper. I'm afraid we don't have much time to visit with you today. We're on our way to Coral Cove Park! You have fun! And be safe! Thanks, Grandma. Goodbye. Wait for me, Freddy! to Coral Cove Park.
not going to let some sea monster keep us out of Coral Cove Park, are we? I say we drive the monster out! That's what I say. Drive the monster out! <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. What's going on here? I'm Marty Sardini. I developed Coral Cove Park into a beautiful attraction. But Mayor Marlin has closed it due to sea monster sightings. And we're not gonna let some sea monster spoil our fun, right? Right! <laughs> Wait a minute. Has anyone seen this monster? I have, and it scared the dickens out of me. It scared me too. Something seems fishy here. But Freddy, we are fish. No, Luther. I mean something doesn't seem right about all this. An angry mob is no way to solve this. Luther and I will figure out what the sea monster wants. Just give us some time. She's making sense, Marty. Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. All right. You've got till the end of the day. Then we drive the sea monster out of the park. Deal. Gee, I don't know, Freddy. A sea monster sounds scary. Don't worry, Luther. I'm sure there is a logical explanation for why this sea monster is scaring everyone. The first thing we need to do is get into Coral Cove Park to look for clues. Whoa! Where do you think you're going? We're going to investigate Coral Cove Park. No one may enter the park, folks. Mayor Marlin's orders. What if we're here to help? Is there any way to get in? Your only option is to get this permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin. We're on it! It says Coral Cove. Door's locked. It's a barber pole. <laughs> what are you playing? <laughs> Jugs. You're good. Not as good as I should be. I'm still one jug short. And this glass bottle is no substitute. I wouldn't need this bottle at all if I had another jug. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my friend Luther. Hi there, my name's Kipper. It's a taffy-making machine. Yum! I bet we'll catch that taffy next time. You bet we will, Freddy. right now.
Hello there. I'm Earl, the map specialist. Nice to meet you, Earl. I'm Freddy, and this is my pal, Luther. That's not going to do me any good. Hello, I'm Rollo. Who are you? Nice to meet you, Rollo. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. Pleasure meeting you both. How about a pun? All your questions are in the same vein. What an annoying tendency. He's just ribbing us, Freddy. <laughs> What's this fancy gadget all about? This fancy gadget saves you the pain and discomfort of having to reach into unseemly places. Unseemly? Yeah, you know, stinky, dirty, poisonous, hot, whatever. There are all sorts of places I could use that. Watch it work. Wow, that is really neat. It's a bargain at three purple sea urchins. I'm enthralled by that fancy gadget. Could you demonstrate it once more? Why, yes. Don't forget, it's at the low, low price. You look like Gil Barker. That's because we're twins. My name's Gillian. I'm Freddy, and this is my friend Luther. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. How many purple sea urchins for the glue? For you, one purple sea urchin. That's quite a bargain for ultra fantastic elastic glue. there. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. We'd like to talk with the mayor if possible. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing my number eight fin pick. Where could it be? It must be back in my barber shop. I'm so absent-minded these days. I'll go look for it. We'll go look for it, if you'd like. What dears! Quick as a bunny, just run over to my barber shop. The fin pick should be right there. Hang these keys up on the hook inside the barber shop when you found the fin pick. Okay. Phew. I wonder which key will unlock the door. Let's try this key. That's it! We're in, Luther! Whoopee! There! The keys are on the hook, so Clyde knows right where to find them. And I see fin picks already. This must be the fin pick Clyde needs to give the mayor his makeover. We'll soon find out. Fin pick, Clyde. Whoops, this isn't the right fin pick. Which fin pick do you need? 
I need the number eight fin pick. The mayor's look depends on it. I can only take one fin pick at a time. I'll just put this fin pick back. Maybe this is the fin pick Clyde needs. This should be the right fin pick, Clyde. Ooh, you're so efficient. Now can you finish the mayor's makeover? But of course, I'll only be a moment. All done. See you tomorrow, Mayor Marlin. Splendid, splendid. Mayor Marlin, we have a permission slip we'd like you to sign. It will allow us into Coral Cove Park so we can solve the mystery of this terrifying sea monster. Huh? All right. There is a sea monster terrorizing the citizens of Coral Cove, isn't there? Uh, yeah. Officer Beverly will let us in the Coral Cove Park. Good luck to you both. The citizens of Coral Cove are lucky to have you here in times like these. Whoa! Fish and Luther. Hey, Daddy-O, I'm Nick. I'm back here trying to fix this sign. Daddy-O? Is he talking to us? Sure I am. Everything was smooth as usual until the bolt I need to hold this sign up fell into that stinging anemone. Ouch! How will you get it out? I'm clueless and I'm trapped here. Can you help? Are you kidding? We love to help the clueless. Luther means that we'd be happy to help you put the sign back up. It'd be real hip if you could get a wrench, too. You'll need that bolt and a wrench to fix the sign. We're happy to help. I can't reach into the stinging anemone. Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish. And this is my friend, Luther. Hi! Well, hello. My name's Kit Craftsman. What do you use this for? The wrench? I'll use that to take this big ship apart. I can't find a bottle big enough to fit the thing. That must be hard for you. It's a heartbreaker. If only I had a big enough bottle for the ship, then I wouldn't need the wrench. Maybe we can find one for you. That'd be fantastic. What beautiful handiwork. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take her apart if I don't find a bottle big enough to house it. Don't do anything rash. Luther's right. Maybe we can help. Ah, ah, ah. 
Here's the permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin himself. You don't say. Well, I'll be. Go on in, but remember what I said. That sea monster is huge. And it's evil. No fear, eh, Freddy? No fear, Luther. This? Yuck! It smells horrible! Look at the size of the bite taken out of it! The bite's big enough to be a sea monster's! That's just what I was thinking, Luther. The sea monster must have been eating this and dropped some. We're hot on the monster's trail now. We just need to get this sample analyzed. It's a purple sea urchin. Good eye, Freddy. Those meddlesome kids are going to ruin my grand plan. Look, Luther, a purple sea urchin. I saw that one first. Luther, look, there's an orange safety cone in there. Right you are, Freddy. I... Here's a way in to the shipwreck, but this door is locked. Oof! Are you sure? Yes, we need to find another way in. There must be some use for that orange safety cone. We need to figure it out. Okay. Oof! 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 I'm too big to fit through this hole. Let me try! Like a dream! Luther, you need to unlock the door so I can get in too. You got it, Freddy! This big wheel must open the door. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> but the door is locked. The door is still locked! This wheel won't budge! That orange safety cone is heavy! I'm going to need Freddy's help with it. That looks like some kind of code!
Maybe moving those colors around will unlock the door in the room above. Then I can let Freddy in. I wonder if turning it this way will unlock the door. Maybe moving those colors around will unlock the door in the room above. Then I can let Freddy in. I'll try this again. It's an orange safety cone. It might come in handy. Those Tetras mean business. They're too busy practicing drills to notice us. We need to find a way to steer them away from the doorway. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me... Purple sea urchin, just waiting for me to come along. I saw that one first. This jug is broken. We're going to need glue to get all those pieces back together. Look at that mud skipper jump from puddle to puddle. He sure looks like he's having fun. Maybe that wasn't the right way. We made it, Luther! Yeah, we're good! It's a pair of glasses! Do I look smarter, Freddy? Way smarter, Luther. You know, someone may have lost these. Let's put them away for safekeeping. Whoa! That 
the metal over there. I think you're right. The metal is too far away. If only it was attracted to my magnetic personality. One, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. Here's another purple sea urchin. You're still one short. Here's another purple sea urchin. Great. Come back when I'm ready for my new look. I've got some great ideas for you. Solving a mystery takes brain power. You <sighs> I got the bolt. This extendo arm is a miracle of modern. Say. Whoever said no pain, no gain doesn't know what they're talking about. Oh, no. I guess we're all done with the extendo arm anyway. I don't think I need that right now. I'm so eager to see what's in your store. There's no way we'll fit, Freddy. The sign is blocking our way. Yep. We're out of luck until the sign is put back where it belongs. We just need to put the bolt on the sign. Don't forget to tighten it with a wrench, too. I don't think I need that right now. You must be proud of your brother Gil's success. The whole family is proud. We come from a long line of barkers, you see. How much does the glue cost? One purple sea urchin. You can't beat that.
think I need that right now. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do me any good. not going to do me any good. I don't think I... That mudskipper sure is having... That's not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. The claw machine game cost one purple sea urchin to play. Would these glasses help? My glasses? My glasses! I can see! I can see! Thank you! May we have the microscope lens? Yes! Please take that thing out of my sight! My glorious sight! Thank you. No, thank you. That's not going to do. I don't think I need that right now. not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. right now. That's not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right Look at that mud skipper jump from puddle to puddle. He sure looks like he's having fun. right now I don't think I need that right look at that that's 
not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do... I don't think I need that right now. We really need to get the food sample analyzed. Yeah, I think it's starting to smell worse. going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. How long have you been in the taffy business? My whole life! Kipper's Taffy was my grandma's store. I come from a long line of kippers who own taffy shops. Can't you tell? Oh, I can tell. I don't think I need that right now. I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do me. not going to do me any good. That's not what a fantastic do. Why, thank you. I feel it's my civic duty to look my best. The things a new do can do. I don't think I need that right now. Nope, we can't get through them. Excuse us! It's not going to work, Luther. We need to find a way to move the Tetras away from the doorway. I don't think I need that right now. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. You're good. Not as good as I should be. I'm still one jug short. And this glass bottle is no substitute. In fact, I wouldn't need this bottle at all if I had another jug. That's not going to do me any good. How about a pun? All your questions are in the same vein. What an annoying tendency. He's just ribbing us, Freddy. that right now. I've always thought I'd make a good police officer. Do you enjoy your job? I enjoy my job mightily. Mightily! That sounds cool! I don't think 
I need that, right? that right now I don't think I need that right now I don't think I need that right now should fix this broken jug, but we're going to need plenty of glue. That's not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that. That's not going to do me any good. To try to win something from the claw machine, it only costs one purple sea urchin to play. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Who are you? My name is Al B. Cor. I am in the business of card trading. Pleased to meet you, Al B. Cor. You must really like trading cards. Oh, I do. It is what I live for. You've got a lot of trading cards here. Yes, and I have got a don't touch policy. Unless you want to make a card trade, that is. Okay, I understand. Just let me know which card you are interested in. And when you have a card to trade, we can make a trade. I see. That's not going to... Do you have any hobbies? I do not have any hobbies. Trading cards consume all my time. Another purple sea urchin! Excellent!
Look, it's a trading card. Hey! That's my roof! <laughs> Your roof is made out of a trading card? Until I get one like this top-of-the-line cone-shaped roof, yes, that's my roof! I think we might have something you could use. This safety cone is just like the one in your magazine. What? It's a spitting image! Structurally, your home will be much more sound with this cone, sir. You bet it will! Why don't you go ahead and take that old trading card? Thank you! Hi, Casey! Hi, Freddy! Hi, Luther! What's going on? Same old, same old. I'm analyzing food samples, but unfortunately my microscope is missing its lens. Hey, we found something like that! Could you please take a look at this food sample we found in Coral Cove Park? Interesting. It appears to be sea monster food. I can't verify that until I find the missing lens to my microscope, though. Hey, we found something like that. Great! Then I could analyze that food for you and tell you exactly what it is and where it came from. Try this lens, Casey. <gasps> that did the trick. I can see through my microscope again. Thanks, Freddy and Luther. It's our pleasure. Could you take a look at this food sample? We found it in Coral Cove Park. This food is highly unique. It's a kind of sea cheese, and it's only found in Tetra Caves, and it's typically only eaten by sea monsters. Jackpot! Mm hmm Just as I suspected. Come to think of it, look at this key I found the other day. It has traces of the same food substance on it. Why don't you take it? It may come in handy for you. Thanks, Casey. Luther, we should have a look inside this Tetra Cave for clues. There's a purple sea urchin on that geyser. I still can't reach that purple sea urchin. I got it! Way to go! 
Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. The name's Marge. Marge the Sarge. That drill book looks interesting. It sure is. I use the drills in here to whip these Tetras into shape. What do you mean? I lost my medal, so the Tetras had some trouble respecting my authority. Having that book gives me some clout. So if we got your medal back, would you need the drill book anymore? Uh, nope, you could have the drill book if I had my medal. Hey, it's Mess Hall Mania. I love this game. How do you play it? Well... It's really easy. We both have some schools of fish. I hide your fish, and you hide mine. Then we take turns and try to find the hidden fish and feed them. Whoever feeds all of their fish first wins. Okay, I need to hide the schools of fish. That's right, Freddy. You can rotate them too to make it harder. Just press the play button after you've hidden all of the fish. I need to hide Luther's fish so he can't find Fine, we've got a case to solve. Let's get back to business. Those Tetras mean business. They're too busy practicing drills to notice us. We need to find a way to steer... I'd like to buy some glue, please. You've come to the right place. I can offer you top of the line. Ultra fantastic elastic glue. Here you go. Thanks. Is great, but I need to put the pieces in the right places. We're getting somewhere now, Luther. That piece fit perfectly. Good one, Freddy. That piece dropped right into place. That piece fit perfectly. Good one, Freddy. That piece dropped right there. Check out this jug. It matches the rest of your set. It's like we've reunited the jug family. Are you for real? I can keep this jug? Hooey! Of course! He 
Here, take this glass bottle. Thanks. I hope this is a big enough bottle. Oh, splendid. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? What a wonderful gift you've brought me. You've saved me the pain of dismantling my work. Do you still need the wrench? Take that tool of destruction out of my sight. My creation is safe in her permanent home. Thanks. We'll take good care of it. That's not going to do me any good. There needs to be a bolt in place before I can use the wrench. That's not going to do me any good. We're so close! All I need is something to tighten this bolt into place. Like a wrench? it. I like it a lot. Now we can see what's in your store. It's cool to be back in business. A magnet might be useful. How much is it? It's free. Consider it my gift to you for helping fix my sign. What a deal! This is the best store ever! Yeah, it's the crab dance. It's the crab scuttle. Mud the waters. The Check out the crab dance. Mud waters. going for the fake tattoos. Keep it steady. Steady. Oh, I got a glow necklace. It's kind of pretty. At least we got to play the game once before it broke. Yeah, and we got that pretty glow necklace too. I'll wear it if you don't like it. Nah, I'll hold on to it. I'm sure it'll come in handy sometime. going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. It's too bad you lost the magnet, Freddy. Oh well, we don't need it anymore. A magnet was all we needed to get the metal over here. The attraction is obvious.
Don't say! It is my medal! It fits perfectly into the blank spot on your uniform. Of course it does. Thank you both. Do you still need the drill book? No, you can have it. Thanks. right now. I don't think I need that right now. Hmm. Shark steak mumbo. Freaky styly. Lead fin. Stinky cheese. Ode to a burp. Sea cheese curds. Sea cheese curds. Sea cheese curds. I don't know what you have heard. I don't know what you have heard. Around these parts we eat the curd. Around these parts we eat the curd. 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 Sea cheese curd. Sea cheese curd. Mmm. Do it again! But that's not the right drill. The tetras are still blocking the doorway. We need to try a different drill to move those tetras out of the way. Ode to a burp. Shark steak. Stinky cheek. Ode to a burp. Ode to a burp. I don't care who says it's rude. I don't care who says it's rude. Burping helps me digest food. Burping helps me digest food. <laughs> Now we can get through that door. Yes! That was the key. Finally, we're in! It sure is dark in here. This is creepy. Let's leave. Not so fast. We need something to light up the cave so we can look for clues. Oh, yeah. Perfect. The glow necklace lights up the whole cave. Whew. I feel better already. Now we can look around for clues to where the sea monster is. One, pick up some sea cheese. Two, scare townspeople away from my home. Three, 
order 50 pounds of taffy for delivery. This must be the sea creature's to-do list. Are you sure? I am positive. We need to find the address of this 50 pound taffy delivery. That must be where the sea monster lives. Look at this! It's just like the sea cheese we found near the entrance to Coral Cove Park. So? So this is what the sea monster eats. We've got... What can you do to make taffy last longer? If you happen to be one of the fortunate ones with braces on your teeth... Well, nothing goes with braces like taffy! It lasts a long time! I wish I had braces. Has anyone ordered a large amount of taffy for delivery today? Say... 50 pounds of taffy? That rings a bell somewhere, but I don't remember any details. Is there any way to find that information? Yeah, if I could remember the password to my computer, we could look it up. What's your pet's name? Mother's maiden name? Nope. I had the password written down on the back of a trading card, but then I traded the trading card. Tell us more about that trading card. Well, I seem to recall I had a picture of an orange muscle car on one side. My password was written on the other side. Got that, Luther? Olive mustard carp. Yep, I've got it. Here's a written description of the card. If you can find it, I could get into my computer and look up my delivery records. We'll see what we can do. Here you go, Freddy! I'd like to trade this card for the orange muscle car trading card, please. Let's see. Here you go. It was nice trading with you. You too. Thanks. Could this be the trading card you meant? That's the very one! And the password is still written on it! K-I-P-P-E-R! Kipper! So much taffy makes me taffy! Thank you! What can you do to make taffy last longer? If you happen to be one of the fortunate ones with braces on your teeth... Could we check the address on that big 50-pound order you sent out today? You bet! That order went to Smartswood Hole, the deepest crevice in the ocean! That must be where the sea monster lives! Let's go! Rise up, citizens! Reclaim what is yours! What is ours? Yeah, what is ours? Let's oust the sea monster from his evil lair! Let's make Coral Cove Park a safe and fun place for the whole family! Yeah, oust the sea monster! We're all behind you, Marty! Look at the size of that crevice! Are you ready, Luther? Mm. Yeah, no fear, Freddy. Who dares 
past the dark and Zephyr's doorstep! It's just Freddy Fish and Luther. Oh, you're that famous kid detective, aren't you? You've succeeded in finding my new home. What do you mean, your new home? A certain greedy developer drove me out of my real home, Coral Cove Park. He claimed it as his own and turned it into a tourist attraction. You must mean Marty. Why did Marty develop the cove if it belongs to you? Marty has a lot of gall. I have a deed to prove I own this cove, and that didn't stop him. That's bunk. There is no such deed. Zamfir, show us the deed. If what you say is true, Marty is in real trouble. It's right here. It was right here. The deed has been stolen. The deed is gone. And so is Marty. Things are going from bad to worse. Zamfir, we're going to get that deed back for you. We won't stand for this kind of injustice. Let's go, Luther. I know where Marty lives. Here we are at Marty's house. It looks more like a compound to me. Let's just stay calm. If we can get in, I know we can find Zamfir's deed. Ew! This rubber ducky is all slimy. It's a dog toy, Freddy. I guess you're right. We'll hold on to it anyway. Hmm, this looks interesting. It's a medium weight. Who knows? It might come in handy. It's some kind of weight. Hmm. I'll hold on to it for now. Well, that one doesn't fit properly. That about does it. No more weights are going to fit in there. I'll keep this weight for now. Weight doesn't fit very well. way. It only opens from the inside. Here, dogfish. Get your rubber ducky. He loves it. Now we can get past him. If you say so. a trap! Oh, I hope we're not stuck in here. Oh, great! The whole place may be booby-trapped! We need to find a way out of here. Hmm, a weight could be useful. Look at that 
tiny window. Maybe we can get out that way. I'm right behind you, Freddy. Sweet freedom! Not so fast. We need to go back and get the deed. fits nicely, but it doesn't weigh very much. Perfect! Now we're getting somewhere. That does the trick! Grrr. Oof! Shh! Look! We can see into the other room! <laughs> no one will find Zamphia's deed now. Not with it safely locked in my wool safe and the combination cleverly hidden in this fake book. <laughs> we need to get the safe combination out of that fake book. Then we can get Zamfir's deed back to him, right, Freddy? Exactly. Then we can put an end to this mystery once and for all. We need to get that fake book with a combination inside, but the bookshelf is facing the wrong way. Revolving bookshelves are such a pain. I wonder how we can get around to the other side. I think the position of this vase means something. Let's borrow it for a minute until we figure it out. The chandelier changed to yellow. The chandelier ch No problem! The door's unlocked now! I feel like Marty is watching us. This candle might help us. I think I'll borrow it for a while. It's very lifelike. I like... That's not going to do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. The candlestick holder needs a candle here. This candle should be in a candlestick holder.
Do you think this is where the vase is supposed to be? Somehow I think going through this door is still going to put us on the wrong side of the bookcase. It's the fake book. We need to open up Marty's safe with the combination we found. This key must be important too. I'm going to hold on to it until we get the deed. With the combination, we need to open There must be some kind of locked compartment inside Marty's bus. Look, a secret compartment and there's a key. Five, eight, two. Enter. Here's the deed. It says that Coral Cove Park belongs to Zamphir Duncan Dogberry Valentine. Just like Zamphir said it would. Security! Security! I got intruders in the compound! I got intruders in the compound! It's martial law! It's anarchy! Security! How'd you get in? You're all under arrest! Hold up right there. I understand there's a dispute over the rightful owner of Coral Cove Park. What's this about? Marty should be under arrest for theft. This deed proves that Coral Cove belongs to Zamphir. Is this true? Marty, have you any defense? Now I see why Zamphir turned into such a scary sea monster. Marty ruined his home. This whole mess is Marty's doing. This deed I'm holding proves that Zamphir Duncan Dogberry Valentine owns Coral Cove. Hip hip hooray! I am sorry for scaring you all away. I was only trying to stop Marty. Thanks to Freddy and Luther, we stopped him once and for all. Marty's community service hours will keep him busy cleaning up this mess for a long, long time. As the rightful owner, you can choose what happens with Coral Cove Park. What do you think? Let's bring down these walls and this gate. We can all play in Coral Cove Park now. 